Bonjour, hi, welcome back to Archer and Alex. My name is Alex. I am the owner and lead soap maker here. And today I'm super excited because I've made this soap so many times before. This is the first time I'm making it on camera. So today I'm making a coffee soap and I call this soap Cafe au lait. So it's got some really rich, like beautiful coffee in there, a really amazing coffee fragrance oil from our friends over at Brambleberry. And I'm going to get right into the video and show everybody how it's made. Okay, so I haven't made like artisan soap in a long time. I've made sea salt soap. I've made our lather. I've made ready to wash soaps, but I haven't made just a good old batch of artisan soap in a while. So, Today I'm going to be making our um, Cafe au lait coffee soap. So this is a soap that I've made before. I usually make it for our cut your own bar um, and send that over to Jasmine over at Less Is More. That way the good folks here in Lawrence can cut off a size of bar that they want. And it's made with really nice, beautiful, gorgeous coffee that I get locally. So to start this off, um, I have my batch oils in our container here. Um, we're using our standard artisan oil, artisan soap oils, which are olive, coconut, castor, and grapeseed. I also have some coffee grounds that I used when I made the super strong um, coffee here. Really dark, really beautiful. Um, I have, of course, our castor, or sorry, our coconut milk powder and our kaolin clay. And then I also added just a little bit of brown oxide from Crafter's Choice. That way we can get a nice, beautiful brown color. So the fragrance we'll be using today is, come on, is Coffee Shop Fragrance Oil by Brambleberry. Um, it is one of my favorite coffee fragrance oils, just because it's not straight coffee. You have some notes of strawberry in there. There's some heliotrope in there. Um, I'll make sure to put all the little fragrance notes down below. That way you can follow along. And if you think that this fragrance oil sounds great, you can go and shop it over at Brambleberry. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to emulsify and mix up this little concoction we have here. Alrighty, so that is done. I am then going to add in our strong coffee. And so I just make strong coffee by using my French press. Um, and then I use extra coffee grounds. That way I can really um, amp up the coffee notes that are in there. Um, and then also you get the really cool, amazing coffee benefits that are being added into this bar. So let's blitz this up real quick. Okay. And now I'm going to add in our live water solution. So our lye water solution is a little less um, water in it than there normally is, just because I did a water discount to make up for the coffee that we're putting in. So there's a little bit of lye lint, um, nothing that's going to hurt us. So go ahead and get that added in there. And I also have pre-mixed my lactic, a lactic acid, not lactic acid, sodium lactate into my lye solution. So let me give this a quick little blitz just to emulsion and we'll be right back. All right, so we are just to emulsion. So I'm going to add in this full bottle of coffee shop um, because it is safe for my recipe. And if you hear some like strong gusts of wind in the background, a storm is rolling in, so that's what that is. And honestly, I'm going to dismount from my stick blender 
because this uh, fragrance oil has the tendency to accelerate just a little bit. So I think I'm just going to hand mix it in. That way I have a fighting chance. Wow, that wind is intense. So let's add our coffee shop in. I'm going to mix that by hand and get it incorporated into our soap batter. I don't know about y'all, but in the Kansas City area, or better yet, in Lawrence, it has been so hot and so dry that my allergies have just been kicking my butt. So the last video I filmed was our sugar skull video. And I could barely breathe. Like I had some sort of respiratory funk, but oh, it got me. All right, so now we're going to pour this into our loaf mold. And it is starting to accelerate just a little bit. But nothing that we're not going to be able to handle because we're not doing anything fancy with this. And you can see all of those coffee grounds are just like beautifully suspended into this soap batter. So with each cut, you're going to get a really, really, really nice payoff of the scrub from the coffee ground. So I'm going to scrape out our container. Get this last little bit in here. And then I'm going to grab a chopstick. We're going to give this a little swirl. Nothing too fancy. Just enough to give us some visual interest, you know? Okay. Oop, the lights are flickering. Hopefully I can get through this video before the power goes out. Grabbing me a chopstick. All right. So we're just going to give this a little little chopstick love. And it may still be too thin of a trace we need to really add some like design to. What I really wanna just make sure and do is get this into the corners first. And we're gonna tap this down. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles in there. There we go. And just give it a nice little swirl on top. I don't know, I've really been digging swirls lately. When I was taking my little break, I watched a lot of Clover Soapworks on Instagram. And I just love how they do their soap swirls. I am absolutely obsessed. And I was watching a lot of Holly over at Missouri River Soaps. Hey friend. And really just kind of watching other people make soap. Like this is how I started getting into soap making was by watching others. So while I was taking my little break, it was like really kind of nice to be a fan again. And being able to watch other people do the craft and see the amazing things that they were doing. So now I've spritzed the top with 90% rubbing alcohol. I'm going to cover this up and then we're going to let this sit and saponify for about 18 to 24 hours. Um, usually the soap saponifies a lot quicker just because of the fragrance oil, um, but also the coffee. There's a little bit of like residual sugar in the coffee grounds. 
Um, so that usually really helps speed up the saponification process. But once um, we are done and we can cut it, we'll be back in about, like I said, 18 to 24 hours, and then we'll chop off the ends so that this loaf can start curing and we can then get it over to less is more. Okay, so I'm back a little over 24 hours later and it is time to unmold this coffee soap. So we're going to pop this out of our mold and start to work this soap out of the silicone mold. So a couple things just right off the bat. Um, there is some light cracking. It's not horrible. That just means that with the sugars in the coffee and in the coconut oil that this heated up quite a bit, um, it's not going to affect the um, final product of the soap. They just sometimes do that if your soap gets way too hot. And part of this is because the storm that rolled through the other night, um, my power went out. So this soap heated up quite a bit, um, just in the ambient temperature of this room. Okay. So that is a side view of this soap. We saw the top, there's the other side. So you can see that that coffee ground went clear through the soap. So what I'm gonna do now, and I do these for all the wholesale orders, is I'm going to cut off the littlest portion from the end, just so that there's a cut surface so that this can start to cure. And that is what the inside of the bar looks like. So this is gonna have some great scrub to it, which I am super excited for. And I know all you folks that love coffee soaps and exfoliating soaps are going to love this as well. So we're just going to zip off this end. Give you another little peek at this cutting. And yes, so that is how I make cafe au lait. So this loaf will cure for about two or three weeks and then we'll send it over to Jasmine at Less Is More. And all of our Lawrence peeps can go over there and cut them off a slice of this soap. Okay, and that is how I make cafe au lait. So it's definitely one of my favorite soaps to make. I've made this for less is more a couple of times. Um, and each and every time it turns out beautifully. So I'm gonna give you all a little bit of a closer look. Look how stunning that is. This is almost fully cured. You can see all of the coffee grounds running through it. It is definitely one of my favorite soaps to make. So I wanna thank everybody for stopping by and watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure you subscribe. I know a lot of you are watching my videos, but make sure to subscribe that way you can keep up with the Brat Pack and each and every time that I post. So until next time, stay happy, stay safe, and toodles.